Welcome to our All School Mass as we anticipate All Saints Day and All Souls Day, holy days that will be celebrated here at St. Pat's on Sunday and Monday. A special welcome goes out this morning to our parishioners and to our school families who are able to join with us today. Our celebrant this morning is Father Jerry Chapdelaine. Thank you for being with us this morning, Father Jerry. We thank our third grade classes for preparing the readings and prayers and artwork for Mass today. One of our new um, learning expectations says that we are reverent. One part of reverence is treating our church and belongings with care. Another part is participating respectfully and joyfully in this liturgy. You showed us what that was like this morning. You walked in quietly. You let yourself get ready for prayer, and you allowed the students and teachers and adults around you to get ready for prayer. We thank you. You're living out our expectation as we learn in faith. We ask you to do the same as you leave today. Let the Mass and the readings and the Word of God and the Eucharist stay with you quietly as you take it out to the world. We ask that you leave quietly at the direction of your teacher. Let us sing and pray together in joy, reverence, and holiness. This is the 30th week of Ordinary Time in our church around the world. Today we look ahead to the three celebrations of October 31st, November 1st, and November 2nd. Sunday will be All Saints Day, a holy day celebrated in Catholic churches all over the world. Monday will be the day we remember those who have died, especially those who we've lost this past year. Saturday is All Hallows Eve in America, Ireland, Australia, and other countries, celebrated with a tradition of fun called Halloween. Halloween reminds to prepare to celebrate All Saints Day, to turn in prayer to the good spirits of the saints of heaven and those still on earth as we learn to walk in holiness. Our readings today are from the book of Revelations. Heaven is described to us. Psalm 24 reminds us that we long for God's face, as the saints did. In the Gospel of Matthew, we hear Jesus give his followers the Beatitudes, the guidelines given as a guide to a holy walk through with life, with God. The question of the week is, which saint's story reminds is inspiring you to a holy life this year. Please stand and join together in singing our gathering song number 494. We walk by faith, number 494.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Well, we take a moment, everyone, as we always do, in preparation for the celebration of the Eucharist. And this morning, I'm just going to ask all of us to uh, maybe bring before our God the times that were disrespectful, the times that we're not honest, and the times that we find ourselves selfish. So we pray, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of mercy and love forgive us for any of our faults and sins and bring us to that life which is everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let's please be seated now and listen to God speak to us through the word. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a large crowd with more people than could be counted. They were from every race, tribe, nation, and language, and they stood before the throne and before the Lamb. They wore white robes and held palm branches in their hands as they shouted, Our God, who sits upon the throne, has the power to save his people, and so does the Lamb. The word of the Lord.
Our responsorial psalm is, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The earth and everything on it belongs to the Lord. The world and its people belong to him. The Lord placed it all on the oceans and rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who may climb the Lord's hill or stand in his holy temple? Only those who do right for the right reasons and don't worship idols or tell lies under oath. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord God who saves them will bless and reward them because they worship and serve the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the side of the mountain and sat down. Jesus' disciples gathered around him and he taught them. God blesses those people who depend only on him. They belong to the kingdom of heaven. God blesses these pe those people who grieve. They will find comfort. God blesses those people who are humble. The earth will belong to them. God blesses those people who want to obey him more than to eat or drink. They will be given what they want. God blesses those people who want to obey him more than to eat or drink. Or God blesses those people who are merciful. They will be treated with mercy. God blesses those people whose hearts are pure. They will see him. God blesses those people who make peace. They will be called his children. God blesses those people who are treated badly for doing right. They belong to the kingdom of heaven. God will bless you when people insult you, mistreat you, and tell you all kinds of evil lies about you because of me. Be happy and excited. You will have a great reward in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, we're packing a lot of stuff in during this course of this weekend, aren't we? With regard to uh, the fact that it's All Saints Day and All Souls Day. Now, I've got to ask you a question. And, I, and I, I'll, I'll accept any answer that you give me. Can anybody in here tell me what it means to be a saint? You can? What does it mean, man? That's a pretty darn good answer, you know what? It really is. 
Who taught you that? Your teacher did, okay. Anybody else got a good response for me? Yes, right here. Are you saying that you can't be alive? You can't be a saint if you're alive? You can't? Jeez, I think we've got some saints in this church right now. No kidding, I do. Yes, partner, right here. You got it. You can love God and you can die for God. That's, that's right on target, too. I got to tell you something. You know, uh, I'm working over there at Bellarmine and uh, I asked a senior girl one day what, uh, actually this happened not too long ago, we were talking about all saints, and I asked her uh, what, she, what she thought holiness was, what it meant to be a saint. She says to me, it's to be human and do what God wants you to do. What does that mean? What does God want you to do? I got to get somebody right over here, partner. What does God want you to do? He wants you to do good, that's right. That's right, too. We've got to be real brief on this. You know, all, God, I've got all these answers here. I, I haven't got time to get all these people. I wish I could. Let me just say this. That every one of you, including myself and your teachers and Mr. Gavin and everybody else, we're called to be saints. That doesn't mean you walk around doing this. You are who you are. I guess in the old time, the people would say doing God's will. One of the things that God wants you to do in, the, in this time of your life is to be students and to study a little bit and not be cheating. And another thing is to respect your, your parents and to respect your teachers and to respect the, any of the people that are in positions of authority. And if you do that, and you say your prayers, you're a saint. All of you are, we're all potential saints. It just so happens that the church honors the saints, that, you know, when, on All Saints Day, a lot of times it's just a big saints that are canonized, we refer to that, but it's all of us. There are a lot of saints in heaven who are not canonized. Now, let's just skip over real quick to All Souls Day. Does anybody know what All Souls Day is all about? Man, look at all these hands. It's, it's, it's fantastic. It's blowing me away. Right here. Good. It's about all the people who have died. You're right. And what does that mean, though? What, 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 happens, what happens on All Souls Day? What do we do, you guys? Right over there, partner. You do what? There you go. Pray for people who have died ahead of us. Does anybody know what purgatory means? Have you ever heard that? a big old fancy word. The older kids know what that is. Right down here, buddy. Yeah. In between earth and heaven, that's a good response, too. Why do we have a purgatory anyway? Does anybody know the reason to that? Yes, honey. There you go. To prepare us for heaven, right? It's kind of to smooth out any of the scars that we might have. So listen, everybody. This weekend... Sunday is All Souls Day. Monday is all, um, Sunday is All Saints Day. So Monday, is, Monday is All Souls Day. What I want you to do, if you think about this, is to remember that God, what God is calling you to do. And when you see your mother or your dad, or whoever is in positions of authority, you be respectful. You be sensitive to those people. And don't be afraid to tell your mom and dad that you love them. Over there in high school, some of these guys, they're afraid to tell their parents they love them half the time. But they do love them, they just don't say it very often. So that's going to just leave that with you right now. Okay, everybody? I was telling Mr. Gavin, walking in, I said, I'm going to be very brief today. And I'm always brief, usually, anyway. We don't need a whole lot of diamonds in here. We just take what we've got and go with it. Okay. We have a little litany now, I think. <clears throat>
this time now we bring our prayers to our God. We pray for our Catholic Church, here and around the world, that we grow together in holiness. We pray in thanksgiving for the saints who have gone before us in the walk with Christ. May Catholic Christians around the world learn from their stories and be inspired by their faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our world. We pray in anticipation of All Souls Day for those who have died this year around the world and for the families. May each be honored and remembered. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our nation, the United States. We pray that celebrations of Halloween we will remind children and adults of the greater holiday, All Saints Day, and of the goodness of holy life. We pray for those hurt by flooding this week in the south. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for St. Patrick Church and School. We rejoice in, the, in our church and school community in the heritage of faith that is ours at St. Pat's. May our patron, St. Patrick, intercede for us in prayer. May we learn from the story of his life more about God our Father, Jesus our brother, and the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those in our community who are sick today in mind, spirit, or body. We especially pray for Justice Nicolau, nephew of Joe Nicolau. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have recently died. We pray for Ron Russo, father of Mrs. Bonnie Viafor. We pray for all who have died and are listed in our parish prayers. May all these be in peace with God and love today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And loving God, we come before you this morning answering these needs which we express and all just lie in the bottom of our own hearts. As always, we come and we pray in Jesus' name. 